guys, what's up? It's Ijevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with another episode of Mad Pack 2. I hope you guys are all having a good day. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the epic feedback on the Saturday special. You guys pretty much are awesome. You rocked it. Uh, you did beat the Jevonator Challenge, so I do owe you a bonus video for that. Uh, you guys are amazing. So, uh, one thing that you guys said in the video is that I should stop talking as much during the video, or during the beginning of the video, because I waste too much time. So, thank you first off for the input. I will definitely take that to heart. Uh, the beginning of the video for me is sort of like the news part, where I let you guys know what's going down. Um, so one of the things that I want to talk about was people ask if I reply to YouTube comments and I actually reply to as many as I possibly can. Um, it, I, typically a video will go live and then the day after I'll reply. So if you want to see if I've replied to any of your comments, all you have to do is come back and check the video a day later. Uh, and it'll and pretty much check and see if it's there. <clears throat> Next up, since you guys beat the Jevonator challenge, uh, I'm going to be posting an extra video today for you. That's your bonus video. I think I'm going to count the Mad Bomber Challenge as a bonus video. Just so we can sort of get going uh, and make things work the right way. Um, you know, keep on track. So two videos today, absolutely for sure. My voice is back. I'm ready to go. Uh, so welcome back to the Mad Pack, guys. We are having some issues here, I just noticed. Our essence is getting built up in here because of gold seed, so we have got to fix this. So, the way I've decided to fix it would be just like so. I've made these things called item filters. We're going to open one here, and we're going to put essence in it, right? We're going to open another one, and we're going to put gold seeds in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this out. And I'm going to put the trash can right there. So let's make sure that we have the one with the gold seeds in it uh, going to the trash can. Because we have essentially uh, infinite gold seeds and we don't want to lose them anymore, you know? So let's take those out. So uh, if we put this in there, those should all start going to the trash can. Now just to be safe, we are going to put the item filter for the essence here just to make sure. All right, so those are going to the trash. We have uh, officially solved that problem. This thing was actually quite full, and that was a huge problem. So now things are—it looks like things are going a lot smoother, which is awesome. Uh, next up, I want to—I actually want to make some tools. We have been scrounging on these three tools since the beginning. Um, so what I need to do is I need to set up a Tinker's Construct setup and get uh, all of my tools smelted. So we're going to make manual and uh, cobalt tools, obviously. We have the power, so we can. <laughs> um, plus we have a table. And I'm thinking I might make a portable table today as well. So we'll see about that. Um, all right, guys. So let me go ahead and get the Tinker's Construct set up going. And I'll come back to you once I sort of have, you know, everything working. All right. I'm back. <laughs> I'm hype. I don't even know why I'm so hyped for Whatever, though. Who cares, you know? Uh, all right. So here's what we need to do. We need to cast all of our heads out of Manulin, and then we need to cast all of the rods out of Cobalt. Manulin will give us the durability. Cobalt will give us the speed. So I've got everything ready for that. Uh, switch off. <clears throat> yeah. So the next part of this is to turn all of our mo I have I have so much EMC value. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted so much EMC value was because I want to buff these tools out of their minds. We've been using pretty much crap tools the entire time. Uh, and no longer will that be a case. There we go. Alright, and we need to cast the sword blade and manulin as well. <clears throat> Alright, so now that all of our tools have been cast in manual in, we need to do the tool rods and um, in the cobalt. Let's put all that away. So we need four of these. Good thing, good thing I have all these. I have like all this material already put in there. All I had to do was put it in there. I didn't have to make like anything. <laughs> I like not making anything. It's fun. Alright, so let's put all that away. All right, let's go ahead and craft our base tools here. So the first thing we'll be crafting is a pickaxe. And since we don't have to do a lot of mining, we're pretty much set, you know? So uh, this thing has four modifiers to start off, and it's already mining speed level 18. So once we add our modifiers to that thing, it's going to be a beast. 
All right, same with the rest of these. They're all going to be very, very good. There we go. There we go. And we're going to make a new rapier. Awesome. All right, so now I am going to kill my EMC value. First off, we're going to need four of these Notch Apples. Put that there. We're going to need four Nether Stars. We're going to need four blocks of gold. We're going to need Diamond. I can't believe I never made a Diamond block. Um, hold on. Do I? Okay, I didn't put any in there. That is okay. Grab those. Boom, back up to 1.6 mil. <laughs> so easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, let's make a diamond block here. We need four diamond blocks. And we need four diamonds. Oh, that's what I did with the rest of them. I'm sitting here like, I know for a fact that I had like zillions of apples right so uh okay uh and we need f do we yeah we got the four diamonds we got the blocks of gold okay so to put the modifiers on here we just gotta go like so and that's all the modifiers we can actually do for this so we're gonna have a total of seven modifiers on that one the other ones will have a total of six mm. Oh, did I not do... Oh, I guess I need to make more diamond blocks then. Did I not... I still didn't craft it. I fail. I'm a failure. Right, that's one thing I really need to learn. 73,000. One, two, three. It's just like, bye-bye, EMC. Catch you on the flip side, homie. So how many does that got? That's got this... And we need regular diamonds. There we go. So that's got six. So this one should have six as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's going to be worth it because now we don't have to fuss with anything. I don't like fussing. I don't know about you guys. I'm not a big fusser. Need one more diamond. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Alright, so on our pickaxe, I don't need fortune. I have zero use for fortune, guys. I have every ore that I'll ever need pretty much in this table right here. I, I don't need it, you know? So all we're going to put on here is speed and we don't need repair either because our talismans repair so i don't want auto smell so it's basically just going to be all redstone um i might i was considering putting luck on there but i don't think i'm going to uh so speed speed and speed and then all sharpness on our rapier so uh we don't need luck for pretty much anything anymore i don't think so i just want to kill and be able to mine fast all right guys i am back so, we have made our new tools. Let's go ahead and check these bad boys out. So, the pickaxe itself has a mining speed of 58, right? That's essentially instant mine. It'll mine everything. Same with the shovel, 48. And same with the axe, which is 48. Now, this is the big difference right here, our sword. I went with another rapier. So, this is our old rapier. No, that's the new one. This is our old rapier right here. I know they look the same, but they're a little different. Um, this is, uh, 10 hearts of damage, which, or 10 hearts equals 20 damage, because it's like times two, pretty much. So that will do 20 hearts of damage down here. Um, and then our new one is 11.5. So we're looking at like almost 22 hearts of damage per hit. So about 20 to 22 damage, uh, will be amazing. So we have some new sweet fancy tools. We're doing pretty good today, I gotta say. Um, I do want to get a big stockpile of the uh, the apples built up, so that's good. So, there is some food in this that I really want to look into. 
Uh, I've noticed that some of the lichenite food actually gives you buffs. So, like, hamburger. So we... Okay, actually, let me look up burger instead. So, as you can see, we have all the Pam stuff here, right? Well, the lichenite stuff is actually the same thing. This gives you absorption. And then there's ones that give you regen as well. So, like, the moss pie. The moss pie gives you, like... It's like 60 seconds of regen or something. That is insane! <laughs> uh, magical food. Ooh, what's this? Regen 2 for 5 seconds. I don't really like that. Uh, the only problem with this stuff is that most of it doesn't have EMC values. Like, not even the base part of it. So, uh, that's kind of what's stopping me. So, I'm trying to find a good food to get rid of these smoothies. Um, we've been eating those. I keep the hydrotrops on me because they give us regen, but I think eventually I would like to move to a new type of food. Leave a comment down in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about switching to a different food. Let me know what food you guys think I should use. Guys, yeah, so I completely forgot that I had a safari nut in here with a villager on it. Uh, so speaking on that food situation, we might actually have food solved. Where should we put him, though, is the question. Hmm, let me grab some glass. Grab this glass. I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold him in, though. Where do I want to put him at? Um, so we could put him right here in the middle, but then I would need half slabs. Uses. Can I half slab that glass? Um, hold on. I just need to find a place to put him. He's going to have epic food no matter what, right? Three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'll use this. Death lingers in the air. Okay, um, whatever. By the way, guys, we are so close to 100% difficulty. Okay, so will I be able to reach him from... An Why can't I fly? Oh, I'm sitting here like... Why did I take my pants off for? That's random. All right, Carson, so you've got pot roast and you've got French toast. Let's go grab some emeralds. Wow, I have 25 emeralds in there that I've just been sitting there. What am I doing with my life, man? So we did 22 damage. Okay. Yeah, those guys don't stand a chance. There we go. Oh, another one. God, they're everywhere. Leave me alone. They're so fast. Jesus. You think maybe for two seconds I could trade with my buddy Carson over here? God. Okay, so there's French Toast. Let's see what else he's got. That'll pretty much heal our food status bar. Like, no problemo. Lime jelly sandwich. I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing sandwiches for quite a while here. <laughs> all right you know what i'm just gonna do the rest of this off camera this is probably gonna take a minute all right i found my food i'm gonna eat kfc <laughs> i just found that he was trading it oh my god fried chicken yes the bucket the kernel i'm so excited for fried chicken <laughs> oh my god there's another one they're everywhere man they're everywhere you can't trust them you can't trust them <laughs> Alright guys, um, once I, I was had another stuff on the plan to do, so let's go ahead and get set up for that. Alright guys, I am back, so I've been thinking about what I want to do, and I'm kind of frustrated because I have all of this stuff going for us, and I have no XP. Zero XP. I have protection four bucks that I want to put on my armor, and I have nothing I can do about it. So we've got to change that. We have got to get some XP going. And so I was looking through here, and really the only way to get XP, there's XP crop from magical crops, which is this. Um, and that's really about it. I mean, I looked through most of this. You can't really craft buckets of XP, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, uh, I think it's time to overdo it, guys. Uh, the only problem is there was just a windstorm. So, like, literally the worst luck in the world right now. But, uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to add an expansion onto our base. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do 
is I think I'm going to add a basement. And there's all kinds of baddies down there, but they're all flying at me right now, so whatever. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, like pull these guys away, and I'm gonna start working on this expansion. Once I'm actually inside and safe, we'll start working on it together. But until I can get over there by myself, I think it's time that uh, I run. All right, guys, I am back, and how dare you? <laughs> What's up, guys? The, I'm so sick of those birds. They won't leave me alone, guys. They're not very nice. Oh, my God. I had to fight like a zillion of them. You know how many times you windstorm while you guys were gone? Not cool. So we've added another layer in. You can get up and down from elevator blocks. Uh, so this is the base layout. And um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and add the pillars in. I think the pillars add character, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I like the pillars. Don't judge me, okay? I'm not here to be judged. I'm here to make awesome content for my Geminators because you guys are amazing. By the way, guys, I did forget the Geminator challenge at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'm going to start putting up a graphic, though, just to let you guys know. So this series is a little bit less popular than most of uh, my other series. So with that being said, Geminator challenge for today is going to be 500 likes instead of 550. Um, if you guys beat that, you'll get an extra map pack video. Ooh, that sounds appealing, doesn't it? No. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood right now. Leave me alone, okay? No. Bad cable. I would say, you know how salty? The PJ salt. Oh, okay. There. Alright, so we need to put the farms down next. So if you guys don't know, these farms have a default radius of 7x7. Seven seven, and we're literally about to have all the experience, guys. I'm not joking. Um, Alright, next up we need... By the way, why did I never make an Emperor's Chalice before? What am I doing? <laughs> Emperor's Chalice is like the greatest thing ever. It's like a single bucket of water that lasts forever until you try to drink it. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm slacking. I also made a bunch of lily pads because those are, were fun to craft. <laughs> okay, here, 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 here. So we just need to fill all these up and then put our seeds in there. And I've made 16 seeds. Uh, that'll, oh God. So this is what I was talking about. There we go. Um, so we've, we've made 16 seeds, which is really easy by the way. Because of EMC. Uh, like, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I I, uh, I get depressed when I go to other packs. Because I'm like, oh, I can just check the table. Never mind. There's no table. And it's just like, no. I miss my EMC values. <laughs> but it's all good. All right, so we've got all that. So now we need to lily pad this piece up. The lily pads are real. There we go. So lily pads are going to help these things grow like tenfold. And it's going to be amazing. There we go. Oh, God. All right. So next thing we need to do is we need to go get more torches because I'm going to be breaking these. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put torches at because we, we got to have this area lit up. Uh, so let me go up and grab some El Torchos. Do you guys think my Spanish is flawless? Because I do. My Spanish can't be touched, okay? Get rid of all of these. I'm so scared to break torches. I don't know if it still does it or not, but when you get when it gets really, really dark, um, the torches spawn mobs. It's like the most evil thing ever. I was like, Keehan, what are you doing, bro? That's scary. Don't do that. And he was not very nice about it. It's all good, though. Because right now, guys, right now, we're owning Mad Pack 2. Mad Pack 2 is a little girl. So... I don't think that's going to get rid of that corner darkness, but it's a good, good try. Corner darkness, please. Wow, so if you set one block, if you go up one block, darkness is a spawnable space. That is silly. We got to figure out what we're going to do about those in that inside darkness, though. I don't know what I'm going to do. That could be a problem. Okay, so we're all torched up now. Grab all that. 
Is there any other loose torches? This one over here. Um, why is there... Okay, I guess there's spots in the middle of all of them. So I guess we'll put a torch down right here. We're not going to be coming down here much. Uh, our base has a chunk loader in it, so it's always going to be loaded. And I don't think I can put torches down. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Cause I wanna I don't want any mobs spawning down here ever. Like ever, ever. <clears throat> so we will just add a little extension in. There we go. And that should get rid of all the spawning spaces. Next up, I we need to install these. And we need. We need to push. We need to push. I need did I do that right? Push. Okay, so that's gonna push all the essence and all the extra seeds into our Emmy system, which is fantastic, by the way. There we go. And then lastly, we just gotta put the seeds in, and we are there, guys. It's gonna take some time for the seeds to build up into the system, but other than that, I think we're good. There we go. Is that everything? Yeah. All right, let me pick this up. Let me eat some KFC, guys. I don't care what it says. It says Kentucky Fried. It says fried chicken. It's KFC. It's all that matters. All right, so torches. Or not torches, but seeds. Two, three, four. So we're going to do four in each one. And uh, hopefully these will... Come on. These will grow magically fast in deliciousness. Uh, okay, you got four. I'm like, there we go. All right, well, our uh, XP expansion has now been finished. Just waiting on the seeds to grow, and then we'll have literally all the XP in the entire world. I'm pretty happy with the with the XP of the entire world too. So. All right, guys, so I am back, and I was thinking about what we should probably do around the base to really just help us out some. I think we should probably make a beacon. Um, I was just thinking about it, and I think a full-strength regen beacon will be our best bet. Because uh, we, we've already got a lot of health right now, but when we're here, we're pretty vulnerable. So let's do this. Key hand, please. My mouse is like, no, you shall not click. How dare you, mouse. All right, so there's a beacon. We will need a piece of iron. Let me get rid of that. And so we're going to need iron blocks. I forget how many it is. Let's start with two stacks. One, two. There we go. And let's go outside. It is daytime, you know. Still raining. <laughs> Always raining. No matter what, always raining. You see what I'm saying? You see what I have to deal with every single day? But what they don't... Let me alone! Where'd they go? Oh, I'm sitting here like, do they just like follow me or something? Fine, I'll fight every single one of you. Let's do this thing. Team Deathmatch. Alright, so you look at our beautiful base here. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life, I know. Don't be, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. So we need to go one down. And we need to build ourselves a fancy pyramid. Now, I'm trying to remember how many layers it was, because I really don't remember. Um, was it four layers? I don't think it, I don't know. This is only two layers right here. Hopefully we brought enough iron with us. If not, oh well. Let me pick that up. Alright, down another layer. Does that look like a full beacon? Three layers looks like a full beacon to me. We can always place the beacon down and see, I guess. But uh, that health that health region will help us out a ton if we're ever... Because, like, around 102 to 110, like right now, pretty much, if Shadow Games were to come, oh my god, I would probably be dead. 
All right, so let's see. Uh, we do have a full beacon. I need to give it uh, sunlight. I forgot about that. That's my bad, though. Uh, do we have any purple glass left? Uh, yeah. Yay! Uh, I want regen. I have no idea how this thing works. Is it something like different? Hold on. I cannot click anything. Is it does it really not count that glass as uh direct sunlight? Alright then. I'm a little confused, I'll be honest with you. I can't even click anything. Random. Alright, well, I'll be back once I figure it out. What am I doing with my life, guys? You guys gotta catch me on this stuff, man. Seriously. Like, it's bad. Uh, there we go. So, do I need one more level for region? I can click over here. Oh, okay. So we want haste, resistance, jump booster, strength. I'm going to say resistance. Resistance. So no region. I think I need to make the pyramid one taller. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm sitting here like, why is this thing not working? And I'm like, let me go look at the beacon again. And then I just shake my head. Like, what am I doing? Like, you guys gotta stop me on looking stupid here, man. You gotta, Jeff and just gotta help me out sometimes. <laughs> I'm not sure that four tall beacon is what we actually need. Okay, let me go get some more. Iron. <clears throat> the top of our base is deadly, man. All them spawn spaces. Yeah, I have no idea if this is like the proper way to get regen. You know how long it's been since I've set up a beacon? Wow, it's been a while. Boom! Let me uh, go here. Does it matter? More resistance. There we go! Regen, baby! Holla! <laughs> awesome! Now let's go ahead and fill our glass in. Uh, hopefully you can go through like 10 pieces of glass. Yay! I would say that we're doing pretty good now. We've got region, we've got XP on the way. Speaking of XP, uh, we have 34 XP in here now. What does that do? Is it is it one full round? So that gave us four of those. Do I just eat these? Not bad. Are we getting seeds? Um... Not exactly, but it's going to be slow going for a while. This one's going good. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today's video. Do not forget about the Jevonator Challenge. Make sure you spam the comments with love. I, guys, I can't tell you how pumped I am to see and reply to comments like, Jevon, you know, I've been gone off the channel for like two years because you were an idiot. And now you're awesome again. So make sure you read my comment. That stuff just makes me so excited, guys. I love reading your feedback. That is one of the reasons why I do this, is because I love seeing all your wonderful comments. So, leave me comments. I like them. I like replying to them. Uh, Gemini Challenge is 500. Uh, question of the day is always. I hope you guys all have a great day and enjoy your bonus video later today of the Mad Bomber from Etho. 
It's going to be a good one. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great day. This is I, Chevin. Peace out.